the modern armies that emerged after the Crimea War are a historic aberration. With the exception of the last 150 years, armed forces throughout history were composed of professional soldiers, for hire, augmented by ad hoc, short-term bodies of conscripted vassals or citizenry or militias. The erstwhile fighting corpus in its camp incorporated hordes of suppliers of goods and services, private contractors in today's parlance. The attempt to render modern armies self-sufficient and self-sustaining by getting rid of these parasites has clearly failed. We are back to where we started, the traditional army. It is also completely wrong to postulate that total war is a modern phenomenon. It is at least as old as the Bible. The ancient Hebrews were instructed by God to eradicate their enemies, men, women and children, and to confiscate the property of their vanquished foes. How more total can it get? Mankind has always cycled between geographically limited guerrilla-type skirmishes and all-out warfare. Top-heavy Goliath forces, armed with the latest technologies, always faced heavily slinging, nimble, low-intensity Davids. There's nothing new about that. We're simply in an interim period between two classical wars. Call it a respite.